Jesus would often do throughout the scriptures is he would tell these parables to illustrate what the kingdom of God was like. And as Jesus would tell these parables, he would use the place he was in to teach principles, right? So he would tell a parable about a lost sheep, probably as he was standing next to a field filled with sheep. To Ill he would use the place to illustrate the principle or he'd tell a parable about a fig as he's standing next to a fig or a vineyard while he's near a vineyard. And one time in Matthew 13, he tells a parable about a sower who goes out to scatter seed. And the Bible says that as the sower went and scattered seed, it fell in four different places. Everybody say places. The seed fell in four different places. Some of it fell in a place where it was snatched up by birds. Some of the seed fell in a place where it was so rocky it couldn't get roots, so when the sun got hot, they withered away. Other seed fell in a place where it was choked out by thorns, and other seed fell on good soil where it produced fruit. If you're looking at Matthew 13 in your Bible, it'll probably have a heading like the parable of the sower, but a better name for this parable is the parable of the places. Because what determined the outcome of that seed was not the potential within the seed, and it wasn't the sower. The sower knew what he was doing. What determined the outcome of that seed was the place that the seed landed. Your life is like a seed. And the places you find yourself in can either accelerate you, grow you, expand you, feed you, or if the good environment can accelerate and grow your life in the same way, the wrong environment can squander you, starve you, suffocate you from the purposes that God has.